here in my little van set up. I have my table here. I've got my laptop. I don't use my laptop as much as I used to since I've got a really good desktop. I'm going 100% off the Nomad internet here. Let me just do a quick speed test on the laptop here. You can see right here, it's showing Verizon. 145 158 i'm inside the van i did have it next to the door i have the modem next to the door i'm at 220 as far as like speed upload speed 226 it peaked out there and so 220.64 download speed upload speed obviously is a little slower than download upload is sending things up into the internet downloads obviously downloading downloads what you're going to need if you're doing a lot of like movie watching and things like that so 220 and two and that's all the speeds right there let me just show you a, a youtube video so looking at youtube i do have it on high def so my i'm playing this in high definition check it out everybody no lag at all introducing this is 100% off of, I'll show you what it's playing off of. This is playing off of the Nomad. You can see it right there. So how about that? Look at that. This thing works perfect. Nomad internet. I want y'all to check this thing out. Everything you need for internet is contained in this little bag right here, believe it or not. I'm just gonna unbox it and kind of show y'all exactly what you get with, with this bag right here and everything you get with it. And then I'll go over kind of some of the specs and how it works and show y'all exactly what it is. So what is the Nomad Internet? Well, this company reached out to me and one thing that I do, you know, they seen my channel that I travel a lot, I'm kayaking around, I'm mountain biking. Well, I looked up some of the reviews on it and the reviews were kind of mixed. They were all over the map. So what I wanted to do was do my own kind of like, I'm like, sure, send it to me and I'll give it a whirl. I've had it for about a month now. I have took it down to Alabama. I was using it down there when I went down there and paddled. Then I went to Kentucky up at the Russell Fork, which is in the middle of freaking nowhere up there. You know, if anybody's been to that part of Kentucky, Elkhorn City, and this thing worked. I let me and my buddy Chris both used it. We both tethered to it. You can see right there already over 75 80 90 it's bouncing around looks like it's leveling out at 76 megs so we got 76 meg download internet and i am seriously in the middle of nowhere <laughs> so that's pretty good considering where we're at with 70 megs of internet you know i know the package is up to 200 but you got to think of where you're at and cell phone service is very spotty especially data and it looks like i'm at 3.5 upload and i was getting speeds up to 70 megs um i hit 100 in a few spots this is a this can range anywhere from 200 to 100 megs of internet depending on your package i know that it's got it uses cell phone towers and it does not use satellite and let me just go ahead and take it out of the package and show you exactly what you get. Number one, you get it just in this cool bag. This right here looks like a bag that um, Indiana Jones would carry with him. All right, so you got the little bag here. Number one, let's look here in the front. You're going to get a USB-C to USB-C cable. You get a like a that's a power cable for the the thing but i'll show you you actually don't need the power cable and i'll show you why and then another charge cable and a little setup on how to work the battery and you did hear that I, yes i am correct when i said work the battery then you get a little card so that's the card with the wi-fi stuff on it so by the way when you get this in this thing was 100 percent set up all i had to do was turn it on you see this thing right here this is the battery. This will give you one week of power. USB out right here, USB out right there, USB, a USB-C, and that is a USB, I don't know what that is. I think that's a lightning port. Honestly, that looks like a lightning port. So there's all the ports on the battery right there. Let's put the battery aside, and I think I'm still at, one thing that happened to me, I, I plugged in my USB. When I was plugging in the USB right there, I actually broke that. But you do get two, so it's not that big a deal, but I did break that. That's one thing when I reached out to the manufacturers that they might have to check their connectors and see how their connectors are, but it still works just fine. And that's for like a little laptop or something right back here, and you get a bag. And this is a rain sack for this. If you were traveling and you needed to put this, if it started raining, you could put that on 
on there. You see them in backpacks a lot. And it's got a little sling over, very high quality canvas bag. This bag, even if nothing else, this bag is a pretty darn good bag right there. I don't need any of this power because obviously I'm out here on the side of a lake. I'm at a campground right now. So putting all of this stuff back in the bag. So let me just show you how this system works. You're gonna plug in right there. And this is a 60,000 milliamp, 22.5 watt battery. And it's by Romos. Believe it or not, this is a router, a modem and everything in one. It plugs in right there. And as soon as you plug it in, there's a little, see this button right here? Check it out. See how I have the blue come on? So now that lets me know I got power. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna power this thing up and it's gonna go through some codes right here. It's gonna find a, a signal. And let me show you what's going on here. So looking at the back of the modem, I'll kind of show you. Number one, these are, these are antennas. So you got two antennas, one, two antennas right there. You got a reset. You've got a um, LAN, so which is what, a Cat5 cable will go in right there. I don't know what that little port is. There's the power socket and you got two spots those are sim card slots that blue means we are in 5g coverage how and then green is the lte coverage red is no coverage so we have complete coverage right here which is awesome okay so now that it's all set up so everything's ready it's good to go let me just kind of like show y'all some of the speeds i've been getting from this i am in the airplane mode so there's no cellular data so you know i'm not cheating on this this is 100 percent off the wi-fi see i have wi-fi on and there is the wi-fi that's connected so let's go ahead and let's run a speed test and i have been running different types of speed tests from my travel so looking at the results so you can see every Everything right here that has the little logo on it, that has the little Wi-Fi logo, those are my speeds. So this is while I was traveling around in the backwoods of Kentucky. And you can see right there, it goes from 75, so around about 80 to 200 megs. It all depends on where you're at. But no matter what, I've always seemed to stay between 75 and 200 pretty consistently. So let's just go ahead and run it right now. And I'm out here at a campground right now. Let's go ahead and hit the go right now. Right now this is 100 percent internet and you could see it's running it's hitting the verizon it hit 208 download and then check out the upload it spiked up to 10 so on my first speed test i'm at 208 on download and 10.2 on upload let's go ahead and run it again and see what that speed test is one more time and i am like i said i'm 100 percent off of this i just hit 242 That's impressive. That is coming completely out of this. And by the way, this runs because it has these two powered antennas there. It's got more kind of like signal strength than your cell phone, in theory, according to them. And it's been pretty consistent for me from what I've seen. So 217 and 11.8 on that one. And as far as like the packages, so the packages you can get on this, let me just pull up some of the packages. So for a 100 meg package, you're looking at right around $50 for the first month. And then after that, you it's $99.95 a month after that. And that gives you internet speeds of 100 megabytes per second, three devices simultaneously with video streaming, 15 computers browsing, and it's got medium game latency. 200 meg internet is $69.99, which is what I have on this. This is a 200 meg, gives you up to 10 devices streaming. So you could use this as your home internet. It gives you low ga gaming latency, 30 computers simultaneously on this. Once again, no contract, cancel any time so to me that's probably the best deal is the 200 man and on their website you can actually do a service finder where you could see if you can kind of if your area has good enough coverage and they give you a money back guarantee on all of this package right here so if you're not happy with it within the first two weeks send it back and then they'll take care of yeah, you i've been using this like i said off and on for around about a month now really testing it amongst my travels to see how it holds up and so far i can use it everywhere i've been everywhere that i have been i've had at least some sort of internet where I could at least watch Netflix, upload videos, download videos, download things, uh, do any type of working online. So this would be great for any type of remote worker or maybe like college student that needs to have, you know, internet anywhere they're at. And I look forward to really putting this thing through its paces over the next few months and really see, and I will do a follow-up because I've got several trips coming up and I will do a follow-up how this thing's holding up and how it's doing. So if you guys have any questions, ask down in the comments 
comments below and I'll let you know exactly how it's working for me. So yeah, there you go, everybody. That's all I got on the Nomad internet. You know, how cool is that? Technically, this is all I need. Could you fit that in your pocket? Maybe you could fit that in your pocket. You could put it inside of a kayak, that's for sure, in a dry bag. I will, everybody, let's go get on the water. I will see y'all in the next video. See ya.